Dr. Gengob, who is Swapo Party's presidential candidate, told the youth gathering that elections must be viewed as a contest of ideas and not personalities. Therefore, he says, political parties should present their manifestos and campaigns to engage on socioeconomic issues with the electorate. So let's disagree. We've had been disagreeable. Let's debate. Why not? But there must be an order. Debates must have an order, as we are doing now. And therefore, we'll go on. Hold hands. And when you come to know me, you see people see me on TV, apparently I'm so arrogant. But when you meet me in person and know me, look at all these young people. They cannot leave me. <laughs> they want to love me. So when you come to know me, you know it's a, a nice old guy. <laughs> With that, I would like to really thank you all. You behave very well. And that's the Namibian way of doing things. The president's assurance to peace comes days after threats of civil war and other disruptive acts are being circulated on social media. He says, as with any contestation in a democratic setting, there would be winners and losers, but the interest of the country must reign supreme. It's a law-abiding country. We have laws. Somebody tried to block my car. Why do you want to block that kind of a powerful car? <laughs> Now, now, on serious note, all my Swapo meetings, I start by saying we are all Namibians. Whether you are in that party, that candidate, I never talk about any candidates, not mentioning their names. All the meetings, go and check it. Because I think after elections, we have to live in this country. This is the only country we can say it's ours. And it's yours. You are the ones. Among the promises the Swapo Party made in its manifesto uh, is to develop frameworks to promote transparency in the processing of employment in the public sector.